that he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. Then one of the twelve, the one called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priest and said, What are you willing to give me if I deliver Jesus to you? So they counted out for him thirty pieces of silver, and from then on Jesus, uh, Judas watched for the opportunity to hand him over. While Jesus was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived, and with him was a large crowd armed with swords and clubs. They were sent from the chief priest and the elders of the people. Now the betrayer had arranged a signal with them. The man that I kiss is the one. Arrest him. Going at once to Jesus, Judas said, Greetings, Rabbi. And kissed him. And Jesus replied, Friend, do what you've come for. Then the men stepped forward, seized Jesus, and arrested him. Arrested! At that time, Jesus said to the crowd, Am I leading a rebellion? They have come out with swords and clubs to capture me. Every day I sat in temple courts teaching, and you do not arrest me. But this has all taken place that the writing of the prophets might be fulfilled. Then all the disciples deserted him and fled.
Those who had arrested Jesus took him to Caiaphas, the high priest, where the teachers of the law and the elders had assembled. The chief priests and the whole Sanhedrin were looking for false evidence against Jesus so that they could put him to death. But they didn't find any, though many false witnesses had come forward. Finally, two came forward and declared, This fellow said he could destroy and rebuild the temple in three days. A high priest stood up and said to Jesus, Are you not going to answer? What is this testimony that these men are bringing against you? But Jesus remained silent, and the high priest said to him, I charge you under oath by the living God. Tell us if you are the Christ, the Son of God. You have said so. Then the high priest tore his clothes and said, He has spoken blasphemy. Why do we need any more witnesses? He is worthy of death. Now Peter was sitting out in the courtyard, and a servant girl came to him, and she said, You also were with Jesus of Galilee. But he denied it before them all, saying, I don't know what you're talking about. Then Peter went out to the gateway, where another girl saw him, and said to the people there, This fellow was with Jesus of Nazareth. He denied it again, and with an oath. I don't know the man. After a little while, those standing there went up to Peter and said, Surely you are one of them. Your accent gives you well. Then he began to call down curses, and he swore to them. I do not know the man. Immediately, a rooster crowed, and then Peter remembered the words Jesus had spoken. Before the rest of crows, you would disown me three times. And he went outside and wept bitterly. Meanwhile, Jesus stood before the governor Pilate, and the governor asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? You have said so. And Jesus replied, And when he was accused by the chief priest and the elders, he gave no answer. And then Pilate asked him, Don't you hear the testimony they are bringing against you? But Jesus made no reply, not even a single charge. And to the great amazement of the governor, Pilate asked the crowd, What shall I do then with Jesus who is called the Messiah? And they all answered, Crucify him! So Pilate had Jesus flogged and handed him over to be crucified. Then the governor's soldiers took Jesus into the praetorium and gathered the whole community of soldiers around him. They stripped him and put a scarlet robe on him, and then twisted together a crown of thorns, and they set it upon his head. 
They put a staff in his right hand as a scepter. Then they knelt in front of him and mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews! They spit on him, and they took the staff and struck him on the head again and again. And after they had mocked him, they took off the robe, put his own clothes on him, and they led him away to crucify him. As they were going out, they met a man from Cyrene named Simon, and they forced him to carry the cross. They came to a place called Golgotha, which means the place of the skull. There they offered Jesus wine to drink mixed with gall, but after tasting it, he refused to drink it. And when they had crucified him, they decided uh, divided his clothes by casting lots. Jesus had cried out again in a loud voice, he gave up his spirit. 